I knew from the officers on the scene that it wasn't good. I just didn't know how bad. I was riding a motorcycle, patrol. We'd ride around, answer calls, as well as uh, check community areas. And I responded to a call for a disorderly to back another officer up. I had stopped um, to call it in to see where I was supposed to be going. There was a car down the street. The car pulled out, um, nothing out of the ordinary. And then at the last second, the car turned and hit me. My hip was shattered, uh, my knee was fractured, and then uh, my tibia, tibia and fibula were completely fractured, compound fracture. Uh, my lower leg hit the engine block on the motorcycle, and it basically just blew out my entire lower leg. I lost a lot of blood. I was concerned that I was going to die. Once I got to MedStar, I wasn't doing very well when I came in because of a loss of blood. I remember not being able to move. I remember doctors, nurses talking to me, police officers being there, as well as the fire department. I remember my family being there. The chief was there. They're not going to lie to me. So they pretty much gave me an idea of how bad it was. I wasn't sure if I was going to lose my leg. Am I going to lose my job? Am I going to lose? I don't know what I'm going to lose after this. I had 20 surgeries total. I had so many teams. The uh, vascular team was great, the orthopedic team, plastic surgeons were great. Roughly five weeks, I was at MedStar Washington Hospital Center, and then I was about three, three to four weeks at uh, National Rehab. Everybody that was in the initial trauma team to everybody thereafter helped save my life. You take it day by day, as I've always said. You know, I'm still here, I still have my leg. My fiance and I are getting married. I'm gonna be able to walk down the aisle, which three, almost three years ago, that wasn't even remotely possible. Nothing assisting me besides my own power, which is it's a great step. This is my POD beard. Performance of duty is an injury. I can grow my beard because uh, I'm not in full uniform, so I take advantage of that, and I have grown my beard quite gracefully.